What's going on world? It's your man Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. And uh, I'm on day number two with this here uh, Ford, uh, or Ford, uh, damn, what's this thing called? Uh, Mercury Cougar. And uh, I gotta get this thing up off my truck. I did not take it to the shop last night. Um, I've been trying to work out some electrical light bulb problems. So uh, I have been not been driving my truck at night but it's ready to rock and roll right now. So this is the problem, we got two issues. First, I need to air up this tire. I'm not too sure if it was caused by the way that I snatched it up, but we're gonna air this tire up. And this thing is still locked, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how to use, uh, how to get into a car that's locked. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get into it right after the intro. So the customer told me that he was gonna be bringing the um, the key from down in South Florida. I, I really can't wait for that because I need to put this thing in neutral and get the emergency brake down because we had to, you know, go pretty ruthless to get this thing on the bed last night. So uh, and my, my bed is so dirty, man. It's so dirty. I had some buddies hook me up with an engine and. He told me, well, I assumed, I ain't gonna lie, I assumed he didn't tell me that the, uh, the, the engine was empty of oil. And of course, whenever I got to actually, whenever I got to actually um, move it, I got down the road and the, the, I had a, a Jeep and I, all right, how can I explain this? There was a Jeep I had on here without a differential. So where the differential sat, I put the motor, I slid the motor inside of there as a straight six. And from there, you, you know, everything was cool, but it actually wasn't cool because I hit the corner and the engine tilted over and it was full of oil that looked like it came out of a turbo diesel. It was just super, super um, done. So that's what this is it's crud i got some absorbing at the shop and i guess i'll bring my my dirty work boots so we can get this thing taken care of but let me get up here real quick okay so uh let's figure i just do this real quick i always go to the passenger side to do a lockout and i hate this type because the frame itself, like I have to go under the glass. I don't like doing that. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is put my airbag here and slide in, let me see. I'm gonna slide in my rod to try to get to that push button right there to unlock this thing. So it's fourth, I'm next to my roof. I guess I got a good place I could put this camera. Yeah, that's cool. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Typically with this type of application, you will use a, a Slim Jim and go inside of here, but I don't particularly like using the Slim Jim.
I think I got another video. I, I think, I don't know if it's going to come out before this one, but that's, I made a video and making a hundred dollars in under a minute. And this is the same concept. So since I'm here, oh, come on. Oh, uh, we're in this piece. And I just literally hit that. Uh, sometimes that works, sometimes it don't. Um, uh, this dude got a lot of oil in here. <laughs> so obviously there's a huge problem and maybe some of that oil is not all from the what's the name. But uh, I just wanna make sure that this one's unlocked. Okay, cool. So now my next problem is, so the emergency brake was actually off. That's great to know. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this panel off. Actually, you know what? I probably just won't even do that. I'll pop the hood. And then when I get, when I get it to the shop. Hold on one second. Oh man, damn, let me turn around. Man. It's kind of sketchy to be up here like this. But uh, whenever I get it to the shop, uh, I'll open the hood, put it in neutral since the e-brake is down. I guess that makes sense because I had to drag it from the backside. So, you know, you don't usually want to do that. And if you do it, then you want to do it with skates. I do not have skates. So usually I would use a piece of, uh, a couple piece of two by fours to, and I would jack up the car, slide the two by fours under there. So it essentially slides the wood instead of sliding the tire. I did not have my jack on me and uh, they were gonna impound the vehicle. So the guy called me, he's like, man, can you save me from being impounded? You know, it was gonna be cheaper for me to tow it and store it for a few days than to have him impounded to get in. Um, so I, I told him, I, you know, I work it out with them. So we're good with there. So now I'm in the vehicle. Um, I'm gonna get it to the shop and I was gonna just reverse winch it off, but like I said, I don't have keys or anything, so I can't even turn the wheel. It's locked where it's set. The game plan is to jack it up, put it on some wheel dollies, and since the emergency brake is off, um, it should just push down. I just put the two wheel dollies on the front, um, hook up my winch to the back to make sure it doesn't just shoot down the second that I actually uh, uh, let off of it. And really and truly, if you didn't have a jack and you didn't have skates, I'm sorry, if you didn't have wheel dollies and didn't have skates, you could just use a jack uh, and and jack it up and then pull the jack with it on the frame of the car and pull the whole car down, especially it's front wheel drive. So there's nothing gonna be holding the back except for the emergency brake, okay? So um, I guess that's, that's how to do a lockout, man. Um, and, I don't know, I don't know what all is wrong with this thing. So I, I was very reluctant to actually take it on as a job, but you know, you gotta make that money, man. <laughs> so I like being in my tow truck more than I like turning wrenches, unless I'm turning it for myself. And even at that, sometimes it's kind of a problem, but whatever, whatever the case is. So now that this thing is open though, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the shop, move out a couple of cars that I got and then slide this one in there and block up that base. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for subbing. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for your homie. Uh, subscribe, hit that little, uh, what's that, that YouTube notification bell next to the subscribe button as well so y'all can get updated on every time I upload a video and uh, come on me on this journey of growth. And um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're doing it. All right. Till next time, we hit the B. Promo de beneficio. Siempre. Peace.